in the previous video I discussed oh, why it is required to improve the system power factor now this video will cover how to improve this system power factor today I will discuss how to improve the power system network power factor using capacitor or capacitor bank for the sake of clarity once again this is 11 kb grid step down to 415 volt 415 volt by a 2.5 mb transformer and lump load lump load is connected here 2.2 MVA lump load 85% power factor so what I will do I will compare I will just copy this so that it will be easy to compare side by side yeah ungroup this one Before proceeding, before adding any uh, new capacitor into the system, let's run once the load flow study. So that we can compare thoroughly side by side you can see there is no change this is the same because i have copied this into work here so 97.34 percent bus voltage 85 percent power factor both the cases okay now go to the edit mode and let's add capacitor here Let's assign the rating. So let's assign the rating of the capacitor bank. Suppose this is one point five MR capacitor bank and we are done let's run the load flow so I have added one number only 1.5 ember capacitor based on the requirement based on the calculation we need to add here okay so this is 85 percent power factor here also lump load power factor is 85 percent and here due to the capacitor bank let's check the reactive for so this is the kvr supplied by this capacitor this is 1537 1537 kilowatt is supplying and this load is drawing 1165 kvr but the capacitor bank is supplying 1537 kilowatt which is which is uh, more than the required reactive power uh, absorbed by this load that's why it is go, it is going upwards so that means 372.7 kilowatt reactive bar is going back towards the grid it is not drawing any this load is not drawing any reactive bar from the system rather it is this reactive bar is supplied by this capacitor bank 1165 kilowatt from the 1537 kilowatt and the balance is going back to the 
grid if you if you compare with this here the bar reactive power requirement was 1147 kilowatt and the entire reactive bar reactive power 1147 kilowatt was coming from the supply grid from the source grid and here the bus voltage was 97.34 percent and here bus voltage is improved one not one one not one point two percent is that means the voltage voltage provided is also increased that's fine but you cannot you cannot really uh, control the bus voltage by using the capacitor bank because the you can see here the reactive power required by this load is only 1165 kilowatt whereas this capacitor bank is supplying 1537 kilowatt which is more than the required reactive power that's why it is injecting the reactive power into the power system network which is uh, going back to the source grid instead of grid if it is the generator then it will supply the reactive power also in this system so the time it will be difficult to control the reactive reactive power so simply switching on the capacitor bank into the system it will not it cannot control the uh, the reactive power flow flow in the power system network but definitely it will improve the overall power system network power factor the voltage profile everything so before before putting into the service you need to calculate what is the required what is the requirement what is the rating required uh, for the capacitor bank to be connected with the concerned bus or the network okay so adding the capacitor bank is one of the ways to improve the voltage profile to improve the overall power factor this is one of the methods okay now now i will i will show another small thing if we add here if we add here a cable do since the uh, cable has has the capacitive effect it has the capacitance mm. so due to the capacitive component of current ic the power factor will be improved a little bit due to the capacitance let's assign this value Suppose this length is 500 meter. Let's select the size. This is 11 kV. Okay. Single core, uh, three core. Okay. Three core 185. I am selecting. Okay. So go to the impedance tab over here and okay. So from the library I have taken this one but unfortunately it has no uh, capacitance mentioned here. Let's define the admittance so that the capacitance can be can be calculated here now let's run the power flow let's see what happens so this time it is expected that the power factor of this power system network will be improved due to the capacitive effect of this cable cable capacitance 
because by nature okay so what is the cable parameters you can you can you can put here uh, cable size length okay so 500 meter single run 3 core 185 square mm cable if I add here so here you can see this is 82.68 percent is power factor 82.68 percent is power factor so if I copy the same cable over here now simply run this one it will be easy to understand what is the impact of this because uh, before power factor correction before adding any capacitor into the system this was the original system yeah this is now 82.69 percent 82.69 percent is 82.69 percent is so let's say uh, this this one is increased cable length is increased so previously it was 82.69 percent is power factor let's see the change now 82.69 previously system is slow okay now it is improved a little bit 82.71 percent is because of this transformer transformer is inductive load in nature so this current this is il and this is capacitive current ic so the resultant will be effective for to improve this power factor so if you if you check here if you check here this power factor is 82.66 percent is it's clumsy now okay if I zoom here okay so here you can see at this transformer high voltage side 11 kb high voltage side this power factor is 82.66 percent is and due to this cable capacitance effect this power factor here at 11 kb upstream side supply side this is 82.71 percent is 82.71 and here 82.66 and here it is 85 percent at transformer low voltage side at 415 volt level this is 85 percent due to this transformer inductive effect this power factor is reduced here at transformer high voltage side 82.66 percent and again due to this cable capacitance this power factor is improved a little bit which is 82.71 percent so it is very clear from this case study that the cable capacitance will improve the system power factor a little bit but the inductive loads like transformer it will decrease the system power factor considerably and the resultant uh, the resultant effect for this transformer and this cable jointly this power factor at low voltage side 85 percent and this supply side high voltage side it is 82.71 percent is so this is the supply side 82.71 and here 85 percent so this is another way if we can increase the cable length 
here this is the small cable size and small capacity and if we use suppose uh, a long uh, a lengthy cable uh, suppose um, single core 1000 square mm cable uh, from the grid from the grid to this 11 kb main switchboard then the overall system power factor for this grid will be improved considerably due to the cable capacitance so this is another way to improve power system network power factor